This looks perfect. I need a spot with some open ground with no trees. And this is just that spot. Sun's going down in a couple hours. As you can see, it's low on the horizon, so we gotta work quick. How you folks doing? Joe here, out on a warm December winter day. This is like positive three. It's gonna go down to maybe negative three tonight. This is all in Celsius. Whereas it's been sometimes up to negative 18 already this year. So you can see the snow is very packy, very humid, and it's very wet. So this is the perfect time to test out this new shelter that I have. This is a tensile tent. You might have seen them before. These are like the hammock tents. Completely suspended off the ground, completely enclosed tent off the ground. I figured today, with the snow being so wet, the ground being so wet, this is a perfect day to test it out. So only the essentials today, the Stingray tensile tent, my camping gear, one last lonely satchel of Pop-Tarts for the breakfast in the morning, and some gloves and we're good to go. This is a new sled I got a little bit bigger. I have not drilled in any holes for tie outs yet, but it's big enough where I was able to fit this in. No worries. But full disclosure, I watched a YouTube video on how to set this exact tensile tent up today before I came out. So let's try it out. Uh, it might take me a little while, but it looks pretty straightforward. I figure while I'm setting everything up, I'll just work out of the um, sled here so that nothing really gets too wet. Not that it's a big deal. It's just if I can stay dry, why not? So they sent me a couple goodies. I got a webbing ladder to go up the middle of it. Um, a floor hatch cover, which is kind of cool. Drink holder and another ladder. I got all the specs on here, I'll tell you after. So this, I believe, is the tent itself. We've got straps here with ratchets, some poles, and the fly. So first thing I need to do, I believe, is get my ratchets all squared away. They're heavy duty ratchet straps and I still need to set them up because this is obviously the first time as I can't even get the bag open. Come on! All right. Nice. So I think there's three if I'm not mistaken. You have three anchor points. Nice and sturdy. All right get these all squared away. I've got all the straps undone. I think I'm going to attach them to the tent before I hook them onto the ratchet part. Just, uh, I don't know, seems easier. Owner's manual, we're not going to read that because I think I can do it with just watching the video. All right, let's get this rolled out. I always wanted to try one of these out, but it is a hefty price tag. They recently reached out and asked if I wanted to try one, so I jumped all over that. So appreciate it, thanks guys. Tensile. I think what I want to do is go this way. Yeah, that's the end there. I'm going to go off one of those limbs there. That birch. And that balsam fir. Heavy-duty straps. All right, one more. It's pretty slick. So the heavy-duty ratchets attached with this web. And there's this D-ring uh, attached to the tent itself. So you slide the webbing up through the D-ring, come down, and just attach it that way. You can't go anywhere. Extremely secure. It's actually pretty intuitive. Once you got it down once, I'm sure it'll be a walk in the park. All right, let's get this bad boy up. You want to pull it straight from the tree, make sure there's no creases in it, no bends, rather. And you are feeding it up and through, pulling it tight, or kind of tight. Just give them a couple cranks. 
And I'll go around and do that to every side. Oh, bud. This might work out. This might actually work for old Joe the first time. Figured you don't set it up at home, you try and set it up out in the woods, and that's the best case for you know learning how to set something up. Okay, they say to look down the pipe to see if it's all taut, it doesn't look taut enough to me. Then we got a, a couple more. Well, it's up, it's about shoulder height. Maybe a little bit lower in the middle, but uh, yeah, I think I've done it properly. I don't think I have the straps right because they're not locking, but I don't weigh much. I'm sure it won't be an issue. Um, we got to get the poles out. I know now for next time, but I'm not taking it down. So we got to get the poles out to prop it up to get some height in there. Two poles, two poles it is. Two pole Sam. A legend of Sparrow Joe. Squirrely Joe rides on the wing of a sparrow, that's what it was. <laughs> okay. Apparently this is updated. It didn't used to be like this. With the poles. It used to, it used to be much of a bigger pain in the butt, but in the butt butt. Now it's accessed from the outside apparently. Right here. Right in there. So he used to be able to, I guess it wasn't as easy to access before. Anyways, get that through and then we gotta, so you open this zipper to access inside. This is where the pole is, right? This doesn't matter, that pole, but this pole is inside here. And then I believe you put it in this white cup right here. And that's what keeps it in place. Let's go prop it up on the other side and see. Yeah, sweet. Okay, one up, one to go. This is pretty slick. Well thought out. All right. Space age, bro. And then you can get in here and shut the zipper. Integrated bug net, which is kind of cool. I don't need to put the fly on it, but I might just to see. Pretty cool, man. Pretty, pretty cool. Okay, let's see. So it's not the lightest thing in the world. It says it takes 15 minutes to set up. Maybe after you've done it for a couple times. Weight, 25 pounds. Uh, three doors and it sleeps three adults so definitely not a backpacking thing but like for this type of stuff you have a sled you have your car whatever maybe even a canoe you bring it let's hop up in there and see how comfortable it is how flat it is and uh, start getting our stuff in there and then worry about the, the rain fly it's got gear storage connected underneath it already so you can access it here from the door Oh, these are cool. Cool zipper poles. This is what the middle hatch thing is for. And the ladder. You can get up in the middle here. It's attached in there. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's kind of cool, eh? <laughs> I'm excited. All right, let's get our boots off and get up in here. Bouncy. I might not have enough tension. Okay, we up here. 
We up here. I think I need to tighten it more. No, this is actually... No, can't sleep in the middle like that. Look right here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, bud. Maybe I'm gonna cross it. I think I do need to stretch, stretch it a touch more. But like, <laughs> look at the view. Look at the view. They just flew right overhead. I hope that showed up. Hope that showed up in the camera. Okay. I'm going to tighten it up. I am going to put the rain fly on. This is more gear storage here, eh? Sure is. Pretty cool, man. Yeah, I see it's a little saggy there. I might need to, I need to stretch it a touch. It's pretty good on the other sides. A little saggy there. Little saggy Joe. Three three zips to get out. And the bottom. Lots and lots of ventilation. I imagine this is a gear hammock. You would hang this up on the top of the the tent here. Yeah, and then you can put your gears in there. You can stretch it out any which way you want. Farther up, way over there. Anyways, I'll leave that for now, I'll figure everything out after. Yeah, there's a pocket in each corner. One for each person, that's cool. That's cool. Oh yeah, and this comes off at any side? No, it doesn't. Just this side. Oh, that's slick. You don't even have to do the zippers. Pocket there too. Wow, man. This is pretty padded. These guys. These guys, I'm telling you, they're pretty slick, bud. Okay. Boots back on. <laughs> Tighten everything up. Hey, it's up a little bit higher now, too. A lot more taut. Feel good about it. So here is the fly, I believe. Heavy duty. And pretty big. So I guess the stingray word always goes at the door. together peeling it apart basically I think I'm doing it wrong okay I am doing it wrong okay you know what I think I might have figured it out now this is different than the one that I watched in the video as well it must have upgraded again that video was like five or six years old or something okay I think I got it now see that's all part of it you know what I mean things change and these are not set up properly this is supposed to be locked I get that but I personally am not concerned about it. So these two hooks, I believe hook onto the handle here and you can tension them up, but we'll worry about that with these little buckle systems after. We'll get the last one on and see if it works. If that's the case, that's not so shabby. These <laughs> pegs they got are pretty interesting. They screw into the ground. I don't know how, how helpful that will be with the snow, but kind of cool. So this bungee, and you're supposed to just cut your uh, your own lengths and make four, or are they coming fours? No, they come in fours, look at that. So you're supposed to tie a, a loop on both sides. I like to tie the Jolin which is a modified version of the Bolin. 
two loops tail goes around inside and you just kind of pull it all together the benefit of these tying it this way is it comes undone extremely easy and it's a tough like uh, durable knot okay well twisted it up a touch there anyways you got a loop in this side and you could also do like one of these normal loops either way well, let's give one of these screw stakes a shot see how it goes I don't want to go down probably to here huh it does grab with the snow and the ground being somewhat frozen it would be difficult actually now that I say this it's not actually even going in far ground probably is frozen past that part anyways let's see what I gotta do is wrap that around that's that Well, I'm pretty happy with this. Looks nice and taut. Yeah. Let's get our stuff up in there. And uh, then we gotta get firewood. I'm super hungry. We got sausages and like vegetables and stuff to cook up, but I still gotta get firewood, create a spot for a fire, process all that firewood. Lots of stuff to do still, so let's get our camp squared away. I actually ended up tying a taut line hitch in one of these bungees to get it more taut. So you guys are used to seeing me tie taut line hitches onto things that are stationary, like a tree or something like that. But it's definitely totally acceptable to do it on something like this. So you just do it the same way, right? Just pretend that that's your limb, whatever you're going around. You go one, two, oh, ducks in the winter. Three, two on the inside, one on the outside three total, pull it taut, and then you are able to really get it tight. Watch the material up here. Much better. Okay, good call. Good call, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Much darker. Much darker in here now that I have the the fly on. Oh. Now, a good uh, good thing to remember is it's just like a hammock, right? You'll get convection whipping away your warmth from the bottom in this thing. That's why a good sleeping pad is still needed. Oops, sorry. It's still needed at least in the cooler months. Got my light. Could probably even do this. There, look at that. Is it better? A little bit. It will be tonight though. As you can see, I got a nice flat lay. Good, good view out there. I could lift that up if I wanted to for uh, more ventilation or a better view. That's no problem, and you can do that all the way around. But look at all the room I have in here. Like, got my sitting bag on top of me. Another person could go there and then there. I do have my extra wool blanket. I got a pillow. This ain't too bad. Pretty excited about this. See how comfortable a sleep I get. All right, we have to get firewood because I am so very hungry, it's not funny. Just 
just in the nick of time. We're losing light quick here. Some maple and some spruce twigs. All right, I've got my fire all prepped out here. Got a base with a bigger log on the end for a, uh, to give it some airflow. Got a bunch of birch bark. Got small sticks, bigger sticks, some fuel. I will have to go get some more, but I'm so hungry. I need this to start and to, so I can cook. This brace kind of holds up the sticks from smothering the original flame. You guys need that though. I'm gonna get a bunch on right away. We didn't clear out any snow, so it's probably gonna sink in, make a pit, but that's okay. Totally fine with that for this trip. There's not too much snow anyways. We got some some rain since the last time you saw me and it um, knocked the snow down substantially. Still maybe a foot, six inches, I don't know. Six inches or so. Anyway. Is gonna go nice, I'm sure. Some hardwood here. I can get on it. So I got maple behind me. That's what this is, and then this is all hard, hard spruce limbs from the bottom of a big old, super old spruce tree. So we'll have some resin in them, and they're gonna be really dense and burn well mixed in with the maple. Carrot, pepper, sausage, green onion. I got a little plate slash cutting board and my cast iron. All right, we whipped up a little stick spatula, stackula, spectacular. Anyways, um, yeah, we got that going. These are looking good. And I am going to throw the sausages on right quick. Okay, everything's done. I'm going to throw my sausages in the pan for now while I get everything ready. Just want to get the fire going again. While I'm eating, so that I have warmth, light, and so that the coals don't get burned down too far. It's not really a risk of that, they're pretty healthy coal bed in there. Excited. I am very excited. I got mustard. Wish I had a fork, but this stick will do just fine. Mmm. Mmm. 
you gotta love charred red peppers. That was such a fantastic taste to them. So you guys been liking the videos lately? I hope so. I've been having a lot of fun. You know, switching things up again, coming back out to the fort and getting away from canoe tripping and stuff, which I had done for so long there. Yeah, it's good. Feels good. Feels good to get some decent views again. Have some good comments that I've been reading. So thanks guys. You guys rock. And this supper Ooh! is gonna rock as well. Rock me like a snow hurricane. Like a slurricane. I'm probably just gonna eat with my fingers. Mmm. 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 This is a really good supper. Nice and simple. Sausages. Very cheap. Pre cooked. I think they used to be called Grillums and now they're Schneiders or something along those lines. But the red peppers, man, really sets it off. Mmm. Right tonight. Wow. Pretty awesome. Winds pick it up. Supper was really good. I'm full. Uh, I scrounged up a bunch more firewood, but it's all on the fire now, and I need more. So I'm going to go walk around in the dark and look for some firewood. Okay. Two, I'll try and get a couple more, and then I'll be enough for tonight. liked wait until the coals burn down to embers throwing a bunch of sticks on and just waiting until it bursts into flames this one's gonna be a slow growth into flames but that's still cool it's just starting to go Pretty bright. That's the only light I got right now is the fire. There's no light on or anything. That's pretty awesome, man. Wow.
pretty cool. See, it's just like a C plastic C clip, and the, it's just the material in it. It's not any kind of pole or anything. Pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Anyways, I'll square it away. Get me comfy. I obviously don't need the the ladder on this setup, but if you set it up higher up, you can use the the ladder. I haven't even looked at it actually. Let's take it out of the box and check it out. Where are you? Hello, Evan. Living ladder. Oh, it's literally a webbing ladder. Like a, a ladder made of webbing. That's cool. Just hooks on with these two and you can just step up. That's pretty slick. That's actually pretty slick for a lot of applications. Like, <laughs> to carry that is nothing. There's these two heavy duty carabiners that I would assume attach them. That's pretty slick, I like that. I really like that. I didn't know what to expect when it said webbing ladder. They should have, I should have thought it was like a webbing ladder, you know, like when they said webbing ladder. Ladder made of webbing. I'm only going to be, I'm only going to be able to have one pop tart for breakfast because I couldn't resist myself. We got one, oh, it's soft. It's ready to come off. Oh, it has been years since I've had a pop tart. It's pretty freaking good. The fire has died down yet again, as you saw. I'm going to take this opportunity to throw on the rest of my wood. I've got maybe five or six pieces like this. I'll climb on up in there while the fire burns. Lay down and watch the fire. It's well after nine now. Probably closer to ten, but live a little, you know. Stay up late once in a while. Nine forty-five. Woo. here at the foot of it so I can leave my boots in there and my gaiters and stuff um, that way if I have to get up and pee in the middle of the night I can just step down onto it I'm not gonna try and pee through the hole <laughs> Not too shabby. Nice view from up here. I'm just getting all squared away here. Pretty comfortable. You can see I do have a little bit of a view of the fire from this angle. And if not, when it lights out, it's a good glow regardless. So that's it for me tonight. I'll be with you guys in the morning. Wish me luck up here. Good morning, folks. This thing is like a dream to sleep in, like a cloud. Like every little move, and you got like this nice little gentle sway, and then it stops really soon. It's it's nice. I slept really good. It's after seven now. I'm uh, I'm really hungry. So let's get up, get that fire going, and get that last pop tart in my belly. Oh, chilly morning. I'm sure that fire is completely out. I'll have to start a new one. Man, it's cold. 
Okay, a couple really cool things. I found this super, super shaggy birch bark shedding off of a tree. That was gonna be coming handy to start the fire. And I think when I dropped it down, I saw some embers kick up. Yeah, look at that. That's crazy. I guess there was a lot of hardwood in there too. We'll see if we can do it. Pretty slick. Low maintenance. Fire started. Yep. So what you want to do? We're not gonna make a big fire. Just throw a few twigs on here and get going. My wife has a hair appointment in a few hours. And I need to be home to watch Autumn. Emerald's at school, or will be at school shortly. So, it'll take me a little while to break that down. Anyways, pretty slick, man. I don't hate the way it looks at all either. Space age, brah. Well, oops, <laughs> we're still going to eat it, but uh, I don't have high hopes now. <laughs> it wasn't even that, that big of a fire, I just I must have left it for a little bit too long. I was taking the fly off, and it took a hot minute. Oh, shnikes. It's a s'more pop tart. It's like when you burn a s'more marshmallow, I think. Same thing. That's what we'll say. Anyway. Really fun little overnight. You can see the size of the fire pit and how much the snow got melted down and packed down and stuff. That was just one night. I can't wait until the middle of the winter, this winter. Hopefully there's going to be a ton of snow and have these big fires, melt out areas, dig down trenches and camp like I did a few years ago. That will be a lot of fun. Anyways, we got a good base, good start. I'm gonna eat this up, tear that down, and hike on out of here. All right. Something tells me tear down is gonna be a touch easier than putting together. Although I guess I should take the poles out. That would be helpful, right? That was pretty easy. more pop tart stuck all in my teeth. What type of videos do you guys want to see? I'm still going to be doing the normal type and what I want to do, but if there's anything specific, and try not to like say things that people are already doing. I don't want to try to be anyone else. But, yeah, if there's anything you'd like to see me do that I haven't done or haven't done in a while, let me know. I will certainly consider it. There's some ice on this web. There we go. It's on until I get home. I've got to try this out anyways. So I'll 
I'll take them off there. They're a little stuck and my hands are a little cold. I'm also not putting the fly in here because it's way more wet than anything with condensation. So we'll keep it separate and just throw it in the bottom of the um, sled. It'll be fine. Alright folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. I sure had fun. Check out Tensile Tents if you're interested. I think this tent is for someone who already has some camping gear, who's not worried about weight, and uh, who wants to try something pretty fun. So yeah, give them a show. I'll put the link in the description. And thanks Tensile Tents for sending me this. Thanks to you guys for watching all, always. Just thank you. Thank you so much. We'll see you soon. Take care.